right, guys, what is up? It's Kids Husband and Coach Line, and welcome to a very, very wet day here at uh, Waldemere. It's pretty bad, I'm not gonna cap. Uh, we're gonna try to get in. I think this is where we go. I'm not sure. We're gonna get in, so I'll see you in the park. All right, guys, we just got in. We got our wristbands. There you go, and there you go. Um, so, basically, Waldemere has a Woody, they ha or two Woodies. They have uh, three steel coasters. We're hoping to get on all of them, which will put me so painstakingly close. It will be 299 coaster credits, so close to 300. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had... I have 294 right now because I didn't get the second half of Racer. Oh, all right. If I had gotten that instead of sacrificed it for, albeit, the best rides I've ever had on Jackrabbit. The only two... The, I only had three, but still, it was awesome in the rain. Jeez. It is cold. Yes, it is. But I'm not that cold. Actually, I'm freezing, but I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> All right, guys, so they let you into the park before, uh, oh, it's lightening up. That's good. As we get closer to the lake, it's lightening up. That doesn't make sense, does yeah, it? Well, here's what makes sense. You get on a, car on a ride, and it's going to be windy, and the wind is going to come right through this soaking wet t-shirt from Margarita. You do realize you could have put on a second t-shirt, right? No, I do realize I don't have a second t-shirt. I do. Why didn't you ask me? Actually, I do have one, but it's new. It's sitting in a bag. In bag. Yeah. Alright, so... Monday through Sunday. Amusement park, noon to nine. Alright. Alright, guys. I'm really excited to show you around the park. I'm probably going to go around and get some footage. Papa's going to stand under... Uh, something. Here, here's shelter. Ah, nice. Windless, rainless shelter. Too bad you can't have this the whole time, right? Wouldn't hurt my feelings any. Yeah. All right, guys, so since I'll only be at 299, which I'm gonna double check that I'm not gonna be at 300, triple check because I don't wanna make my 300th coaster a kitty coaster. If I will hit 300, I'm going to hit Ravine Flyers 2 for my 300th. But more likely, later today, Jackrabbit at Seabreeze will be my 300th roller coaster. Uh, which I think is a worthy uh, 300. Is it like Jackrabbit at Kennywood? It was built the same year, by the, designed by the same guy, but it's more of an out-and-back traditional layout. So, I don't know. But it's supposedly a decent ride. And it's also 101 years old, so I think it's a worthy 300th coaster. Oh, yeah. So, no, I'm just wondering whether you got the double dip in the... No, sadly. Like sadly, no double dip, but... Besides which, if you want... Wait. And yes, we do have another one of these. Yes, there is yet another SBF spinning coaster. <laughs> if you wanted... Excuse me, don't do that. If you wanted to ride the kitty coaster, you could ride it as 200 and... 95 instead of 300. Well, I know that. All right. But there's only five coasters here, so I'll be at 299, but I'm going to triple check that, obviously. But, all right, guys, I'll see you in a bit, but, man, it is definitely going to be an interesting day today. It's going to be rainy and cold. See you in a bit. All right, a little history here. Um, 3,061 feet of track at Ravine, Ravine Flyer 2 first drop of 120 feet even though it stands much shorter uh, than a second drop of 105 uh, 60 degree first drop extreme track banking speeds over 60 miles per hour 10 spots of airtime I mean this ride is a masterpiece by gravity group it is also the uh, on the site of the original ravine flyer which was shut down due to an accident that caused the owner's wife I do believe to get distraught so he tore down the ride <laughs> I think that's the story I read on Roller Coaster Database. I may be wrong, but the Ravine Flyer 1, that's hence the name Ravine Flyer 2, and they actually have a kiddie coaster here, Ravine Flyer 3. So, 
I guess they didn't get too creative, did they? No. But um, in all seriousness, looks like a excellent Gravity Group coaster. I absolutely adore Gravity Group. They're some of the best wooden roller coaster builders ever in the history of wooden roller coasters. I have no idea what this plant is. It looks cool though. Yeah, but it looks like it's almost alien. Yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna wait out. Right now, not too rainy, except for that drop it from the tree. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm standing here and waiting. Oh no, we probably should be. Oh, see this uh, picnic area? This was the original station for Ravine Flyer 1. So technically speaking, I'm pretty sure that is. Oh, it's rented by Maple Donuts. So that's interesting. All right, guys. Uh, is the water park even open? I see like, do I see lifeguards? I feel like there should be lifeguards, but I don't see them. Or maybe I'm just missing them. Oh, there's somebody going up the stairs. Yeah, and there's some lifeguards. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, this is going to be awesome, though. Gr great looking park. Uh, definitely going to have a fairground feel, though. Doesn't it? Just a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, so. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Right. I got it. I got it. There we go. Oh, I didn't realize I was sitting on it. Yeah, you were. Attention riders, for your safety, you must place all the stars on the backdrop area. You must be a man out for me back. For this half camera door phones, as a reminder for the target to start your while riding. As I mentioned, all the stars will go in the bins, where they are not allowed on this ride whatsoever. Not yet. Gates closed and lap parts locked. going to happen. This is going to act like a funnel and run all like cold water down my back. Yeah, probably. It's actually warm inside this thing compared to what it is. It is. Five feet down, under 20 degree dark on the ravine flyer. H2O. H2O. Make some noise if you think you're not going to get wet. Rain ride. Ideal. You guys are all clear and out of here. Keep your eyes on the car at all times and enjoy your play on the ravine flyer. H2O. See you back here in 65 seconds. Up, bye bye. 65 seconds. Here we go. Uh huh. Welcome to Rain Rides on Ravine Flyer 2, guys. Welcome. I don't even know if this camera will work through this. And I know that it's going to be really screwed up. I almost cursed. But here we go on our 118-foot plunge. Look at that view. Here we go. Oh! Does have a tendency to crawl on the first rides through the last part. All right, guys. As you saw or didn't see, probably we just got a rain ride on Ravine Flyer to the park's Gravity Group wooden roller coaster, and wow, what a ride that is! Good airtime, good airtime. Does lose speed towards the end, but I knew that was going to happen, so I wasn't too disappointed or shocked by it. But uh, some great airtime on that ride. Really intense. 
really hauled. I think the rain helped yeah. it haul. Yeah. And it just flew down that first drop and look that's- at that, Look at what my shoes look like. Oh Lord. So Papa, what do you think of Ravine Flyer 2? You mean Rain Ravine Flyer 2? Oh yeah, they said, welcome to H2O Ravine Flyer 2. That's what the ride off Ravine Flyer 2 H2O. Yeah, Ravine idea. Flyer 2 H2O. Oh man, I am cold, but you know what? There's no turning back now, is there? <laughs> oh yeah, there is. Not after that there isn't. We got four more creds to get, Papa. Where are they? Everywhere. In other words, you don't know either. I know there's a couple that way. And then there's one that way. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Watch this. That was anticlimactic. Well, it's still full of water. I just. Okay, let out. me put this in perspective. This is a waterproof vest that got soaked. No, it's not. It's water resistant. Well, it didn't work worth a crap. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so we're trying to see if Steel Dragon's open. They have people in the station, but it's not looking good. Haven't seen a train go, so we'll have to see. I just want to get undercover. Yeah, right here. I can't see that far. That's how bad. I am blinded right now, guys. But, uh, yeah. There's not a dry part of me anymore. But, uh, yeah. Let's do Steel Dragon if we can. I'll see you in a bit. Because, like, I was 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 like, Alright. Did you want me to put your hat on the box? Or? Yeah. Please. Yeah. I mean, you can pull that down whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. Alright. There we go. For better or for worse. Up. Mostly for worse. Yeah, mostly for worse. Out into the rain. Oh, God. Power spinner. Whirlwind, I think they called it or something. Oh, it lightened up a little bit at least. Yeah. Just a little bit. But hey. Very little. Whoa. Never done that backwards before. Me either. Now we can do it frontward. Well, maybe not. Yup. Whoa. Whoa. I've been told the older ones spin more, and I think they do. Yeah, they do. Whoa. The older one, in case you didn't know. Whoa, dizzy actually. Okay, you're okay with me staying though, right? Huh? You're okay with me staying, right? Well, I don't know how long you want to stay. Not much. Maybe get a couple flats. Oh my god, the drop power is running in this. No, thank you. Uh -uh. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you're a dumbass. <laughs> the better question is why not? Alright, guys, in all seriousness, after you saw that conversation, we just got off Whirlwind the Parks Mauer spinning coaster. And as an older Mauer spinner, uh, actually Dylan's Coaster Universe did let me know that the older ones run much better and much faster like the smooth or the spinning. And I have to agree, it spun much more than last track. That's for sure. It was a really good, uh, good ride. I enjoyed it. What about you, Papa? I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, good spinning action. Hell, I'm gonna do that drop tower. I'm gonna do that drop tower later. I'm gonna do the log flume too, because you know what? At this point, what does it matter? What does it actually matter anymore? What? what riding a log flume or not riding a log flume? We're in a freaking log flume anyways. No, this isn't that, that, that bad yet. Doesn't mean it won't be. Yeah. Well, the overall amount of, well, you get it. Oh wait, there's a ride off on the platform for Whirlwind. Maybe they are gonna attempt to run it. No, I can't believe that. The tires slipped, so I don't think they should. 
I at least they do want fun in the sun, guys, having operated that, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, um, I'll see you in a bit wherever we go next. I think we're going to either Comet, the little family Woody, or the Kitty Coaster Ravine Plier 3. We're not sure yet. Yeah, they're running it. Never mind, we're gonna go to Whirlwind. They're running what? the ride. That is literally against the manufacturer's recommendation. Let's do it. Obviously, let's see how many times we can. Throw me like that, except it was really bad. You hear how it's slipping a little bit? Yeah, I do. I'm not riding it. Yeah, you are. It's, it's a... against the manufacturer recommendation. It, you just said so. It doesn't matter. We're riding it. That makes it even more fun. Something could go wrong. Whatever could go wrong, go wrong. Go yeah. Wrong. Yeah. All right. See, the fact that I've operated one of these or something very similar, literally, I know that they should not be running it in the rain. I can tell you that. Just a quick thing. The reason is because the tires slip on the lift hill. Uh, that's what I was going on about. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. Why are we doing this to ourselves? It's you. But at the same time, it's all. Do this. this is great and terrible all at the same time, Papa. The great and terrible eyes, yeah, I know. Guys, I don't know if you know, but it is freezing out here. Oh, that wind. Of course it's freezing. I need food, too. Before you go, let's get food. What are you going to get? I don't know. I don't know what this part sells. No, well, there's a popcorn thing over there. I want, a, I want real food. Not snack food. Like a burger or something. Here we go. I just want to put for the record, SBF does not recommend using this these drive tires in the rain. I just want to say that for the record, just letting you know, this is probably not supposed to happen. Yeah, we're on balance. I weigh more. And I think we were balanced with the four people on the other one. Are you okay? You can hear them slipping a little. Oh boy. Waldemir is an interesting place, but I love it. I love this park. This is amazing. Are you dizzy? <laughs> Considering how many of these we've ridden, I don't blame you. Yeah, I think so. At this point, I'm numb instead of cold. No. Alright guys, so uh, basically we are, pa Papa decided to go to the car, he's freezing, he's not going to get the last two creds, I totally get it, it's really really bad, like this is really cold, but I really am enjoying my time here at the park, uh, but next up we got Comet, uh, the park's I think PTC Woody, but I'm not sure, I think it's a PTC, let's take a ride on Comet guys, see you on the ride. All right, guys, Comet is currently down for a maintenance issue, unfortunately, so that's unfortunate. Uh, hopefully it gets reopened soon, I'm hoping that. But, uh, oh man, my hair is everywhere. Uh, next up, we're gonna do Ravine Flyer 3. It's the last operating credit we have to do. We're gonna hope Comet reopens. We'll check on it on the way out. If it does not, obviously we won't be riding it. Although, I'm not sure if Ravine Flyer 3 is open either. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. All right, let's get on the ride, guys. I'll see you there. All right. Well, we're going to have to ride, yeah.
It's a wet one today, isn't it? <laughs> Marine Fire 2 is brutal. Oh, yeah. I just got bang, 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 right in the face, man. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. It's a little jerky. It's going to jerky that way. Yeah, I've been on rides from this manufacturer before, and yeah, they, they get jerky sometimes. Right. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, front row POV. Over water, whoa. Interesting. Yeah, that's that was that was crazy. I'm I'm holding on now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this ride, bro. Well, that was. Alright guys, that was the most violent ride I've ever had on a Mylar coaster. Whoa! I got I was on one side of the train just chilling, it turns into the station, violently throws me into the other side, slams my elbow, which by the way is bruising up right now. <laughs> that that ride was actually insane for a kitty ride. Like what the heck are you doing, Watermere? Like come on guys. Like, are you trying to kill children or something? Like, what the heck? Like, come on, that's crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, good ride though, overall, I enjoyed it. And uh, nice thrilling ride, so for a kid's ride, <laughs> it was interesting, so. All right guys, we have all the creds that are open. We're gonna check on Common again, and then we're gonna get re-rides on Ravine Flyer 2. Obviously, can't go without some re-rides on that coaster, despite the brutally cold weather all right let's go do this guys all right i just wanted to say that i got multiple front row and back row rides on ravine flyer 2 but unfortunately the camera glasses got beat to hell by the uh by the rain and did not function properly so this is the only uh other pov i had I love how I'm fixing my hair when it's literally futile because it's going to be this ride. It's just going to screw it up. Classic. Yeah. I'm just hoping the rain doesn't take my camera out like it did last ride. You know, so. Because that would suck. On the front row. Are we going? Yeah. Alright, we good. Just got off Ravine Flyer 2 front row and it's a pretty good ride in the front. I still can't decide which is better, front or back row. Both are really excellent experiences. 
Uh, front has more airtime on the final section where the back doesn't really have any, but uh, the back has insane ejector on some of the hills. So it's really hard to tell uh, which one is better, honestly. We're gonna check on Comet one more time before we head out. We gotta get to Seabreeze, which is all the way in Rochester. So we got a three and a half hour drive. So it's gonna be a little tough. So we're gonna check on Comet one more time. If it's not open, we're gonna have to call it quits on this uh, credit. So hope it's open, but it might not be. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, Ravine Flyer 2 is such a good ride. Uh, great gravity group coaster. It's not the voyage. I mean, nothing's really the voyage in terms of gravity groups uh, in America anyways, but uh, it's really good. It's probably second my second favorite gravity group coaster behind the voyage uh, Of course the others I've ridden are family woodies, but they're still really really powerful rides and oh looks like it's Comet open no Those are people walking back Yeah, it's still broken down it appears so Yeah, they don't have the chain going or anything. Yeah, so so we're gonna have to call it quits on Comet, unfortunately. The ride will probably be down for a while, so. Yeah, I'm, I hate to do it, but we gotta do it, so. You know, it, it'd be like that sometimes. All right, guys, so we're gonna head out of the park. I know that it was a bit of a shorter vlog. Uh, I actually had to uh, switch camera glasses to get the second, to get that front row POV, and here's why. I did a back row, or a second to back, and the, ride had so many rain it started pouring like it was raining much heavier and it actually beat them into submission and basically uh stopped the glasses from actually working so i'm hoping they're not permanently broken but they're definitely in bad shape right now so the had to go with the backup camera so you know it'd be like that sometimes but we're gonna leave waldemere now so that's gonna do it from waldemere park one of the best uh amusement parks i've re i've been to this trip really well done i really enjoyed my time here even if it was a bit of a interesting situation i was gonna ride some flat rides but we are very pressed for time i already wasted a little more than i wanted to not wasted it was worth every second but uh yeah i don't even have a clue of where i'm going i walked out the wrong entrance because the disco is over this way. So I think I gotta walk all the way over. Okay, I see what's happening here. This is this is not cool. I went into the water world entrance, or not the water world, the, yeah, water world entrance. No relation to my ill-fated, but hopefully work will work eventually project, of course. But uh, this, this park, really good park, and that's gonna do it from this park. Uh, it's been great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button down below. It really does help the channel. I mean, it really does. And of course, remember to subscribe for more awesome, awesome roller coaster, theme park, water ride, and just about anything else to do with the amusement industry content here coming soon to Coasterland. Until next time, peace out.